coverage you can count on. Welcome back, meteorologist Brian Ramsey with us right now, tracking dangerous heat out there, really across the state, but right here as well. Yes, and the heat is it's not just hot, it is dangerous. We right. do have an excessive heat warning in place today. That's going to stay in effect all the way through Wednesday. Red flag warnings to worry about, and yes, even some thunderstorms. So let's get right into it. I got a live look right now for you. Uh, this is looking towards Bernie Mountain, and let me tell you, it is very sunny outside right now, even in Bernie and very hot. As well. Look at the satellite and radar. We did have a few thunderstorms moving through the area. A few moved through Modoc County, Lassen County. Those have all dissipated, but we do still have a few moving in uh, Siskiyou County and in Trinity County. One just moved right over Highway 299, just west of Weaverville. That's now headed towards the Sealville uh, in Siskiyou County, but that looks to be the only active one that we have right now. As far as the current temperatures, though, it is extremely hot out there. Very toasty. 108 in Redding right now, 107 in Red Bluff. Also, 108 if you're in Chico and Orville. So, you know, usually when you go farther, South, the cooler it gets. That's not the case today. Today, everywhere is hot, even in the mountains. We're looking at 90s in the Sierra. Hey, Fort, in the mountains is at 104 degrees. So, it kind of paints a picture for you. It's another hot day out there, just like yesterday. We have that excessive heat warning across the valley, even towards the coast, and then a heat advisory in Trinity County and parts of Siskiyou County as well, which is just saying it's still hot, but not as hot. Uh, but again, we could see temperatures getting up to 113 degrees for some of you in the valley. Uh, Foothill region is looking to be in the upper 90s to lower uh, 100s as well. So drink plenty of water and look before you lock those cars as well. Uh, but also just try to avoid being outside between 10 o'clock in the morning uh, and 6 p.m. because that's when the heat's going to be at its worst. But we do have a red flag warning in place pretty much everywhere uh, tomorrow. I'm talking the valley, the foothills, the mountains, even all the way out to the Nevada border, we're seeing that red flag warning. So uh, this is going to be for tomorrow, uh, starting actually tonight at 11 o'clock, lasting through tomorrow. Uh, due to the chance of thunderstorms moving in the area, we have a big ridge of high pressure keeping us hot, but a little disturbance is going to move along that ridge, and that's what's going to bring that chances of thunderstorms. But these thunderstorms could be dry, which could cause some lightning fires. Now, uh, the best chance for those dry thunderstorms is in the valley, so even the valley could see these thunderstorms. They're going to be isolated. It's not a good chance of them, but they will be there. So if you hear a rumble of thunder, you know, watch for smoke. Uh, but as we head into the mountain regions, we're still going to be seeing some of those uh, thunderstorms as well for tomorrow. Tonight and tomorrow, though, across the lower Klamath Mountains, overnight lows in the 60s and 70s, highs getting into the 90s to uh, triple digits. Same goes for the Sierra Cascades, mostly 90s for tomorrow and a chance for thunderstorms. On the ridge, highs could hit the 90s as well. And then in the Sierra foothills, more 90s, maybe even some triple digits as we head lower in elevation. Once we get higher into the North Valley, we're seeing triple digits again for tomorrow. Not as bad as today, though, mainly due to extra cloud cover. Same goes for the Central Valley. Still pretty hot, but not as hot uh, as today. Now, tomorrow is National Roller Coaster Day, so uh, I just kind of dreaming here, wishing I could be at an amusement park, but unfortunately we cannot. So it's just kind of nice to reminisce, think of good times. 103 for that high tomorrow, so it will be uh, very hot outside. That seven day forecast for you in Chico, 104 degrees for tomorrow. 10% chance of seeing that dry thunderstorm as well, as well as some extra cloud cover. Those triple digits get even hotter as we go to Tuesday, 108. That looks to be the hottest day on Tuesday. We begin to drop those temperatures on Wednesday, then hopefully, 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 hopefully back in the 90s by next weekend. As for Reading, 104 for tomorrow, 20% chance of seeing a dry thunderstorm, and then could top off above 110 degrees by Tuesday, and you're still in the triple digits by the weekend, but at least you're not seeing one, you know, 110 or 111 by Saturday. Wow. Okay. The heat is on. Let's the get heat ready is for on. It. Be it's safe out there on. if you are working outside. Yeah. For all you folks working outside, exactly. be very, very careful. All right, Brian, uh, coming up, we're going to talk about your Lava Beds National Monument special report. I know you had a lot of fun going up there and doing yes, that report. Yes, I went to Modoc County yep. and to Siskiyou County for the Lava Beds, and let me tell you, it was a good time, and I saw a lot of stuff, so I'm going to have a really good report coming up. That's next.